test, test. Okay. Um, hopefully this is working. All right. So this is sort of a, a secret live stream that I'm doing right now. Um, the whole reason I'm doing this is because there was a question on Tumblr. Someone asked, "I don't know what to do, and every I, I don't know what to draw, and everything I draw looks ugly and bad. What should I do?" Um, well, I was thinking rather than you know write, typing an answer, I thought I'd demonstrate what I do when I don't know what to draw. Um, when I don't have any idea what to draw, uh, you guys can see my screen here. When I, don't, when I don't have any idea what to draw, what I do is that I would just go to Postmaniacs and I would do their 30 second drawings. So let's open that up. So you go to postmaniacs.com. A little bit on the right hand side, there's this thing called 30 second drawing. Um, so what I do is that, well, instead of doing 30 seconds, I usually do 45. I turn off the countdown so I don't get, I don't feel pressured. I turn off advanced mode because I don't want poses that are too difficult. And I turn off full screen so that that way I have, I can have my drawing area over here. Unless you're drawing on a sketchbook. Um, a full screen would probably be nice. But I set up my, my desktop to have the browser on the left and the drawing uh, Photoshop open on the right. So what I would do is that I would just draw gestures first. And if there's any gesture that looks interesting, that gives me an idea, then I would develop that further. But first, as a warm-up as well, just draw something. So I have 45 seconds, um, which is actually not that bad of a time. Um, what I'm doing here is just, I'm just drawing gesture. I'm not too focused on the actual details of the body. I just want to know where things are. That's the um, bottom of the foot. That's the contour of the leg, so I know which part overlaps with which. That's the arm, so that way I know which part overlaps with which. That's the head, and then the other leg actually goes over here. So again, at this point, I still don't know what to draw, but I'm already drawing even though I don't know what to draw. Um, oops. Ran out of time on that one. It's fine. Let's move on to the next one. Still don't have any good idea of what to draw, but so I'm just going to draw these gestures. Again, you're not trying to get... Um, you're not trying to copy the pose or anything. You're just trying to see how the body moves how the rhythm is like but, but. this one actually goes inside notice that the back here is facing that way whereas the butt is facing that way so this line sort of indicates that oh that's a nice looking girl um, I like to draw these spiral things because they indicate, they show me which part overlaps with what, with what, not wash. Sorry, I have canker so I'm just turning. Hip, shoulder, spirals. This hip is higher up than that hip. This leg is forward. Oops, wrong contour. And then there's another guy. He looks really happy. Again, like I said, you're not studying anatomy. You're not studying um, where the muscles are. You're just trying to get the motion, the movement of the body done. This leg goes behind, this leg goes in front. That foot goes that way, this foot goes that way. Just trying to get the overall gesture of the body. You can see that arm goes like that, the body goes like this, this leg goes like that, the back leg goes like that. Oh look, it's a little kid. So again, at this point, I still, I'm still not sure what to sketch for tonight. So 
But um, I'm just gonna keep drawing this. It's a good warm up. And um, another thing I want to talk about is that um, the question says everything I draw looks ugly and bad. Well, there's this theory that in order to get one good drawing, you have to first draw 200 bad drawings. So it's okay to draw ugly things. It's okay to draw bad things. The, the, the sooner you get the ugly ones out, the faster you get to the good ones. Oh, that guy looks very uh, serene. I might actually use this one. Maybe. So again, like I said, I'm just trying to get the overall pose and I'm not worrying too much about details. I'm not even worrying too much about the face. Face to me is the least important thing. You can draw pretty faces, but if the body looks bad, your whole drawing looks bad. So yeah, this is what I do when I don't know what to draw. And actually, right now I don't really know what to draw, so I just want to draw. I just don't know what to draw, so I'm going to draw all these things, and hopefully one of them will give me an idea. By the way, um, there are many methods of doing gesture drawings. Um, I like this spiral of things because it lets me know the contour of the body and what overlaps with which. Um, if you've taken some art classes and your teacher teaches you how to figure how to uh, do gesture drawing, um, you can follow that. It's, there's not there's no such thing as the right way to draw. You draw whichever way that you're most comfortable with. Because if you try to force yourself to draw in a way you're not comfortable with, it's never going to come out nice. There's also a lot of debate about style and stuff like that. Well, your style is basically what you're comfortable most in drawing. I like to draw loose like this. I like to just draw like chicken scratches. That's what I'm most comfortable with. Um, this one comes out a bit lighter because I'm not putting as much pressure with my, with my pen. That arm goes behind. Again, contour. Contour. I'm out of space, so I'm going to stop doing the 30 second drawings and close this window. Oh, I'm sorry. And I'm going to look at my poses. See which ones interest me. Never mind, I don't I, do. I still have space. But that's fine. Okay, let's see which one looks interesting. Um, everything looks interesting, actually. I can do this one. Oh, oops. Let's, uh, let's just circle it. Let's pick that one. Let's draw that one. Um, I'm picking that one because it's someone kneeling, so I can make it someone kneeling in front of a grave. Uh, just think, like, you look at a pose, and you, you this is where you try to be creative. Um, it's okay. If you, you you can feel like, oh, wait a minute, I'm not very creative. That's fine. Just, just try to think, just try to think of situations where you're doing this pose to put yourself in a situation. I look at this pose and I see someone kneeling. When do I kneel? Um, I can kneel in front of a queen if I have a queen or something like, and I'm a knight. So I can make this a knight kneeling in front of a queen. That's an idea to sketch. I can make this a guy proposing to his girlfriend. When you propose, you kneel. That's common. Um, 
I can make this a dad who kneels because he wants to talk to his son or daughter who's shorter than him. So he has to kneel. Um, well, there are other things you can kneel for, but um, well, we have three ideas already, so let's just go with that. How long have I been doing this? Ten minutes, not bad. That's a good ten minutes spent. So I'm gonna stick with that idea, and I'm gonna go with the let's catch something with the idea of kneeling. Okay. Um, I'm going to get rid of the rest of the stuff for now. And keep the kneeling post there so I can see it. So I'm going to re-sketch that kneeling post. I'm going to sketch out a situation. It's always nice, it's always nice when you draw out, um, when you draw something, always put, always put that something in a situation so you're telling a story. You're not drawing just to draw, you're drawing to tell some sort of story. Um, in this case, I'm going to try to draw that knight idea. So I'm going to have two characters. One's a knight who's kneeling, and I'm going to have a girl, a, a queen, who's standing. Or a, a king, if you want um, them to be two guys. But let's do a queen. So I'm going to have another character here. But uh, first I'm going to draw the guy kneeling. So I'm just gonna draw this really loose. If he's he's kneeling as like respect, so he's gonna be looking down, not up. Again, I've drawn this kneeling pose before, so it shouldn't too hard, shouldn't be too hard to repeat that. And notice here, I'm not looking at the original um, post maniac drawing, but rather my sketch of it. Because if the, the reason I do this is because if I look at the original Post Maniacs drawing, I'm going to end up trying to copy that, and I don't like doing that. It's okay for it to not look like exactly, to not look exactly like how it was. It's okay for you to bend his body a bit, bend the head a bit. It's perfectly fine. You don't have to follow it exactly, because remember, you're not copying things. You're just using that post maniac as a catalyst to give you an idea of what to draw. So that's the grounding. And I'm gonna draw the person here standing. this character up. Again, this is just one of those sketches. You don't, you, I don't, I don't think that drawing some, when you draw, um, you have to produce something nice every single time. You're drawing for, um, for the sake of drawing, for getting your mileage in, basically. If you don't draw, you're going to get rusty, so you should draw, even though whatever you draw, whatever, whatever it is you draw, doesn't come out nice. So remember, if you want to have a nice drawing, you need to have 200 bad ones first. So, this is going to be one of those bad drawings. Um, she's standing, let's see. I'm going to put her a little higher. So there's a little platform here, like stair steps or something. Because she's, uh, she's of a higher status. Right? And he's kneeling, maybe he just killed a dragon. And he's doing it. I killed a dragon for you, my queen, something like that. Um, let's see, so that's the floor, and then we can have pillars or some shit. And then there's curtains, I don't know why, but just there's curtains, because there's always curtains. Oh look, we can put chairs here as well, for no apparent reason. Just come up with something, like, oh, chairs, what else can they have? Uh, can have, uh, pillars, yeah, it's the pillars. And then this is the, the, sort of the steps that she's standing on. And she's gonna have a dress, because she's a princess. Long hair, she's a princess, and maybe a crown. Oh, look, it looks like peach. Um, what else can she have? 
she can have a staff with some shit on it. Poop. Whatever. You can make it poop. Again, don't don't pressure yourself into into thinking. Oh, my drawing must be pretty. It doesn't have to be. You can make a completely ridiculous drawing, and it still can still be a decent drawing. Okay, oops, zoom in too much. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna start detailing stuff. So that's that's normally how I sketch. As you can see, it's really really messy. All I need is just some lines so I can kind of figure out where things are. So now I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to start detailing. So I've made a new layer here, and I'm going to sketch on that layer. Um, if my internet died, the local videos should still be recorded. So hopefully this thing doesn't get cut off. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to make him a knight. So a knight will have... Well, I don't really know what a knight has, so I'm going to look up references. There's no shame in looking up references, because the the... The misconception is that when people say they're going to look up a reference, that means referencing means copying. But referencing, does, referencing does not mean copying. If you're copying your reference, you're a copier. You don't reference, you copy. Um, referencing is like, it's like this. Um, I want to know what a knight is wearing, so I'm going to Google up a knight. And I get a medieval knight. I can go for a medieval knight, or I can go for a more... Uh, a Lord of the Rings kind of knight. So let's go for oh, or Jedi knight. Uh, anyway, um, let's go for a medieval knight. Let's take a look at some of these things. I'm not gonna copy by referencing something. I'm not gonna copy what they're wearing, but I'm gonna look at. I'm just gonna look at elements. For example, in all of these armors, they all have shoulder um, armor, right? This guy has a shoulder armor right here, and he has these little dangly things. This guy has shoulder armor that covers all the way down to the elbow. Um, this guy has shoulder armor. They all have some sort of shoulder armor. So I'm going to give my guy shoulder armor. And I'm just going to make stuff up on my own. Um, I want his shoulder armor to look like this. I'm going to give it little spikes just to be cool. And then I saw a guy with dangly stuff on his shoulder armor, so I'm gonna give my guy some sort of dangly stuff as well. It doesn't have. To, I'm not gonna use the exact same dangly stuff because then they'll be caught. Me, but I'll use the idea that his shoulder armor has some dangly stuff for no apparent reason. And then that's his bicep. Doesn't have to be protected. Oh. I don't like that. It's too... It feels too detailed. I'm gonna get rid of that. See? This is where the, the, the adjustment process comes in. You don't have to be like, okay, I want to do this. I'm gonna keep trying it. It's like, no, you do it. You go back and you look at it and it doesn't look nice. And don't use it. Come up with something else. Um, feels like if I give him too detailed of a shoulder armor, it's not gonna... It's not gonna go well with the picture. So I'm gonna give him a... A very light shoulder armor. Um, let's see, where is he? So this is him. Uh, that's the armpit. Uh, let's see. How do I make his shoulder armor? I'm just gonna make a simple one, actually. I'm gonna give him. There I got some. Just gonna make it a simple one without all that spikes. Um, and I'm gonna forget the dangly stuff. It just makes it look, look too complicated. And then this is his chest armor. There's a little connection here. Um, how do they? The chest armors look like it's a two separate piece two separate piece they look like they all have some sort of separation on the waist so what I'm gonna do is that 
I'm gonna move this up. I'm gonna make this a bit sharp. Let's do kind of stylize it a bit. That's his mid move. It's not showing, there's a, there's a shirt inside. Or we can put chain mail or something. I don't really know how to draw chain mail, so I'm just gonna do that. Whatever. Doesn't matter. It's a sketch. Um, let's see, do they have like um, crotch covers and stuff? Yeah, they do. Uh, sure, we can give them a crotch cover. That's kind of the belt. And then there's all these padding stuff. Just put little circles just for the heck of it. So he's a pretty skinny guy, he just wears really big armors. Well, I'll need to compensate for something. This is where his knee line is going to go. This is his thigh. Now this is where I'm going to zoom out. Notice I haven't even touched his head yet. Because for me, the face is the least important part, especially in a picture like this. If you're drawing a close-up, you want to focus on the face. If you're drawing something like this, you don't really need to focus on the face too much. Plus, you'll be looking down, so... Not a big deal. Um, he can, he's gonna have some mm -hmm. pads. Maybe stuff to cover his thigh so that he doesn't get slashed by a sword. And then that's his leg. His calf. I may be getting some. Ugh. Okay. Alright, so that's his foot. Notice that in my sketch earlier. So, let's go down to my sketch earlier. In my sketch earlier, I noticed that his foot is not flat on the ground like this. When you're kneeling, your foot is usually not going to be flat on the ground like this. Instead, His foot is actually sort of uh, his. The back of the foot is actually lifted off the ground. So I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna take that into consideration and remind myself. Oops, wrong here. I'm gonna remind myself that that needs to go. Damn it, no. That needs to go off the ground. I don't know what these are, but I'm just going to draw lines to make it look cool. And then, put a little bit of that, whatever that is, just to make it look like it's some armor, and not, um, you know, bare legs. And then, that's his thigh, it's his butt. Do they have, like, a crotch pad? No. They have some sort of weird... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that's the left leg. If you're drawing, for example, um, him putting his arm on the thigh, I would just instead of you know doing instead of doing here's the arm, here's the thigh. If you do this, it doesn't look like he's putting his weight on it. But if you do it like this. This is arm, and that's the, the thigh. If you just draw this flat line here. It'll look like it's pressing his weight on it. So, that's what I did here. I just got this flat line kind of thing. And his arm actually goes this way. His pad. And he's wearing full armor. So his fingers look like a sausage. Again, I'm not going to worry too much about those things. I'm going to start... Actually, no, I'm not. Just kidding. I was going to say I'm going to start toning, but... Worry about that later. I'm just going to put... He's going to be wearing a black um, inner shirt kind of thing, so... 
I'm gonna put that there so I know which part is the initial. Okay, so onto the other leg. So this part here is gonna be black too because this pants is gonna be black. Uh, to the inner leg. And again, this on the ground to indicate that he's really putting his weight on it, just draw a flat line. And then it goes up. Because if you draw like this, it doesn't look like he's he's putting his weight on the ground at all. It looks like he's just floating. And you want to create that illusion of weight. Again, that's his out knee pad. And then there's the no, there's the thigh armor. And this cow. With all these stripes that I have no idea what to do. It looks cool, so it's gonna be there. And then again, flat line that indicates weight. So I'm kind of almost done with this guy. Flat, 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 that indicates weight. Um, there's this sort of a tangent here, so I'm going to try to fix that. I'm going to make his arm thicker so it doesn't look like a tangent. And I'm going to just make this bigger. Try to get rid of that tangent. It's okay to wear uh, an armor that's bigger than your actual body. Or, oh, oh, I know. You can give him, like, a bracelet kind of thing. Giant. Oh, I'm just sneezing. Yeah, I can't really get it. Let's just sleep. Yeah, I should sleep. I don't know why I'm doing this. Anyway, so let's fill in the blacks. Actually, I'm just going to use the damp, not green, to the paint bucket. Oof. And fix this part. And this part should be black too. This part should be black. Uh, there's this little gap here. So that's going to be black. And this part here is going to be black. So we'll this part and then this oops not that. That is not black. This part is black. This part is black. Black, 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 black. Black. Fill it in, fill it in. Yeah, like this is a, a sketch. A sketch doesn't have to be an art print, basically. A sketch is for you to get through drawing mileage. I'm gonna round that up. How many have I been doing this? 20 minutes. I've been doing this for almost 18 minutes. Okay, let's now let's do the now let's do the face. Um, a lot of people like faces. I'm gonna I'm using brush size 10 right now so I'm gonna go smaller and go 7 just so I can detail the face. Let's make this guy uh, some rough looking guy. Uh, he's gonna have an angry face. A crooked nose. He's gonna have a mustache. And a beard. Crooked nose. Intense facial structure. He's gonna have a long hair. Okay. I'm just gonna quickly fill in his hair. Now notice the, the beard is black. So and the, and the hair is gonna be black. So I'm gonna put this little gap of nothingness just to differentiate between the the two blacks. It's most kind of looks like a penis. I mean, clean that up a bit. So it doesn't look like a penis. There. 
by making his hair dark and making it go behind his face, you kind of emphasize, you kind of make his facial structure pop out. If, if the hair is white, then you can't really see that, that shape. But I can. Um, there's no hole here, so I'm just gonna fill this in. Oops, maybe. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of that empty space. I'm gonna leave this line here just to show that that's not part of his hair, that's actually the outline of the, the armor. Okay, so that's the guy. Oh, I forgot his right arm. He has a right arm, right? Yes, it does. He can be a one-armed knight. So that's his right arm. I think it goes that way. Right? That's the, the shadow shoulder is going to be over here, so it's going to go down. So that's the giant glove that's identical to that part. Not glove, but bracelet. And then that's his fist. He's pumping his fist on the ground. I will die for you, my queen, or something like that. Okay, so now we've got something. Now, okay, I noticed something I like here. Notice the gap between that. Now I just noticed the gap between his right knee and his left leg. And that's really far away. And it looks like he's spreading eagles. So, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to move. I'm going to try to fix that. I'm going to move his other leg closer. So I'm going to move this line here down here just to make it closer. I'm going to move this line here over here. So I just fix it. So now I just fix it. Again, it's not some drawing is not something that you get right on the first try, almost like immediately. You could erase, you could fix. It's perfectly normal. So I'm gonna get rid of that lane. I'm gonna move that leg over here. So this line is gonna have to go down. So that's this new line. That gives him a bigger thigh, which is more comparable now. Yeah, I'm happy. So that's his armor sort of thing. And that's the, that's the pants. Fill it with black, big bucket. And now his uh his leg can go this way. Heel or the ankle. the ankle. And then that's the little square thing. I don't know what it's called, but it's no square this thing. Okay, so I will, then we also need to move this hand down a bit to go with the other leg. And down. down. That's the arm and that's the hand. Now that we see it, we go. Okay, let's work on the queen. She's a queen, so let's make her look like a queen. Queens are usually ugly, so I'm gonna make her look kind of ugly. Queens are rich, so they usually they usually eat a lot of good food, so they're kind of chubby. Yeah, all those pretty queens that you see in fairy tales, they don't really exist. Lashes, lots of lashes. She's a girl. I hope that wasn't a sexist remark. She doesn't have any, uh, she doesn't have any neck. Because she's a queen. She's kind of old. 
na let's see let's make her have uh she looks more like a guy so let's give her lips let's give her like girl lips there you go she looks more like a girl or oh, like a queen sorry girls look pretty like this oh she has earrings giant earrings I don't know what how Victorian dresses look like, so I'm not gonna even attempt. I'm just gonna fake a queen. Um, she's gonna have her hair down like that, and everything else is slipped back. She's gonna be wearing some sort of crown. She's a queen. I don't even know if this is the correct queen for correct crown for a queen, but whatever. It's a sketch. She has this one of those poofy shoulder dress thing. And they usually frills, I think. And her hair is gonna be wavy. So for some reason they always have wavy hair. Actually, let's give her kind of an afro. Forget the wavy. Wavy is so yesterday. Let's give her an afro. I'm going to draw afro. I'm going to think look from one piece. Which means if she has an afro there, she's not going to have this. So I'm just going to get rid of it. Either way, she still doesn't have a neck. Hair is much cooler now. She has tiny ears. And she's kind of old. So I'm just gonna actually let's make her kind of blondish. So blonde after. I don't know. Like I said, I'm pulling all of this out of my ass. And I'm not the best character designer, so I just want something to draw so I can draw. So, to recap, like I said, um, you don't know what to draw, start with some post-maniacs poses, and hopefully one of them will, in will inspire you, will give some sort of idea to you. I'm gonna get rid of this hair here, it looks like she has a goatee. Hopefully one of them will give you an idea, and once you get that idea, just expand that idea. Like, first we start with the guy kneeling, and then we ask ourselves, so, who kneels? Knights kneeling in front of a queen, so we draw a knight kneeling in front of a queen. If you want, you can draw as a guy kneeling in front of his kid, talking to him. Maybe the kid's crying. Um, you can draw that in front of a kindergarten or something like that. Uh, let's make her fat. I like drawing fat people. Because she's fat, and we should probably move her back a bit so she doesn't. Um, or you can move the guy back a bit. That's the nice thing about digital art. Positioning wise, you can change them as much as you want. Let's make her fat. And she has. Uh, what do princesses wear? Or queens? Oh. Not fat enough. I mean, that's not really fat, more like stocky, I guess, that's the word for it. Chug chug. She has a uh, good insulation for winter, that's what I always call it. So, I, um, I noticed that the queen I just draw out of, uh, without reference, but, um, that's fine. This is a pretty normal pose, it's just standing, 
if you need reference for standing, you can always go back to post Um She's a queen. Let's give her a big butt. Poof. No. Poof. No. Poof. I'm gonna go for it with a bigger brush. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's this. That curve, and that curve. There we go. That looks nice. And then now she can be holding on to the staff. Actually, here's my my cheap trick. It's hard to draw a straight line when it's not vertical or horizontal. So instead of drawing a straight line and making it look ugly, I'm just going to cheat and not make it a straight staff. The reason why a lot of things are in curves is because it's hard to draw straight. So that doesn't look like an index finger. So. So I'm just gonna make this a weird staff that does that's not straight. That way it'll look like it's a design instead of uh, the inability of one to draw a straight line. There. And uh, I don't know what to put at the end of it, so I'm just gonna draw this, whatever this is. And I'm gonna put like a rope or something. It looks like a catapult. Or not crap, a sledge shot. Uh, doesn't look very really nice. Get rid of it. Change it to something else. I'm gonna make it uh, like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like the queen of the forest or something. Um, I'm gonna put like a, a lantern here. Just because. I don't know what else. But a lantern. May this light, may this light up your way, Mr. Knight, or something like that. So this is where you're just having fun with the crazy ideas. Again, it doesn't have to have like a meaning behind it. Just make her have bigger boobs and wear a corset. Poor lady, but she can't breathe. That's okay, no one in the Victorian era can breathe. Okay. And the nice thing about having this kind of dress is that I don't have to draw feet! Huh. Now, she doesn't really look like a queen now. I don't think, but whatever. It's a sketch. It's something to draw, and now I've done my drawing match. So let's do a... Let's finish this up and do the background. I'm going to make this a bit lighter so I can see what's going on. Um, I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to change my brush size to something smaller. Oops. Come on. Brush size to something small. I'm gonna go with five. And I don't need this anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I still need this sketch, so I'm gonna keep keep that there. Um I know we have a, a curtain. Actually I'm just gonna go with tones. I'm just gonna go with tones and I'm just gonna go and start with this. So I'm gonna use a large brush and I'm just gonna draw in that curtain. Like I said, this is a sketch, so I don't want to make it too detailed. So this is not, I don't want to spend too much time on this. This is, this is just for drawing knowledge. You can spend a lot of time on it if you want, but I'm not going to. I have better things to do. You get my point. I'd rather be drawing other things. 
Also, not a good idea is to is that once you come up with an idea, stick with it. Don't abandon it. Take it through to the finish. Even if you don't like the result, just bloody finish it. Actually, the stairs probably shouldn't stop over there. So, let's keep going even farther away. Now, this is a one point perspective kind of thing. So, all the lines, anything horizontal is going to stay horizontal, anything vertical is going to stay vertical. Everything else is going to converge towards this point somewhere around here. She has some sort of a uh, red carpet thing going on. Now, all these shadows are done on a completely separate layer, so I can always erase all the overlaps later. And just by, here's the trick. Just by doing this, because it's the stairs. Just by doing this, I can create the illusion that this is the stairs. So now you have this boom, boom, boom. Kind of thing. And this is hidden. smaller I'm gonna draw the back. I think we said there's gonna be some chairs. Well let's put in some chairs just for the heck of it. Let's make it curvish. I don't even know curvish is the word thing. Just now. So that's a chair. Another chair. Chair has four feet. And that's another chair. And that's another chair for guests. So queens. And actually chairs look ugly. I'm just gonna get our chair and just to describe it. I'm just gonna go straight to uh, black here because this area in the back should just be dark. This is kind of a nice composition. And this is also dark. And the white shape, the white part makes that pillar. God, my can't go so good, it's so bad. Um, minutes. 48 minutes, so it's almost an hour. See, now we put, I've put in a mileage of another, I've put in an hour or two, it's uh, my drawing time. That's good. Come on. Don't buy it, finish up. A lot of you might think, um, oh, but what if I want to draw fast? Well, you shouldn't focus on drawing fast. You should focus on telling a story first. You should focus on creating something that tells a story. The speed will come, as everyone always says in the... Uh, my friends always say, speed will come. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, that's it. And now I'm gonna clean up the insults so that this queen doesn't look like she's blotchy. I don't need that sketch anymore. And I can just clean this up. Doobie 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 doo. Doobie 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 doo. Doobie 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 doo. Doobie doobie doo. Doobie doobie doo. Of course, if you want to refine this, you totally can. It can be an original drawing of some sort. But for me, this is just a sketch. This is just for me to get an idea out. To get to practice, or at least to practice getting an idea out. I look at a post and I think of how can this be how can this post be used? Who usually who poses like this? And from there I come up with a night moon, which gives an idea for a queen, which gives an idea of, oh, um, a palace interior. I'm gonna draw highlights here, just to, again, add that illusion of this being the stairs. Um, I can always, do I want to shade the queen? Let's give a different tone, let's give it a lighter tone. Let's tone the guy a bit. 
this way. So, oh, happy to something. So being not flat white. And let's give the queen a bit of a tone as well. Let's just tone the staff. Tone the staff. Boop, 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 boop. And tone the hair, maybe. Since that's a lantern, maybe it has a glow on it or something. I can do this. I'm just gonna paste the one. I'm just gonna draw white, but then I'm gonna lower the opacity and lower the flow. I'm just gonna... yeah. Yeah. It's gonna give it a glowing feel. Okay, I'm done. Okay, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, again, so this is about 52 minutes worth of drawing, starting from the gesture stuff. Um, so again, let me just recap. If you don't have anything, if you can't come up with any ideas to draw, then easiest thing, easiest thing to do is just go to Postmaniacs, draw a few poses. There's got to be one that inspires you to do something, to, you know, gives you an idea. Oh, this looks like a guy running. This looks like a guy jumping. This looks like a guy kneeling, this looks like a guy just standing there, but even if it's just a guy standing there, you can always you can always put him in some sort of situation that gives you some idea to draw, like if I'm standing, what am I looking at? I can be standing in a park, I can be standing in a mall, I can be standing on top of a car while the car is moving, doing acrobatics, dodging bullets and missiles, you know, those kinds of things. So. It'll give you something. It'll give you something to draw, even if you don't have any idea what to draw. So there's there's never any such thing as not knowing what to draw. It's just usually not wanting to draw whatever it is because you fear that oh it's not gonna come out nice. Oh I don't know how to draw this. Well, if you don't know how to draw something, learn, draw it. Because when you draw it, you're gonna learn how to do it. No one's gonna get something right um, on the first try. You have to get it wrong first. Um, the reason why I can draw stairs like this is because I've done I've drawn stairs like this so many times and I've gotten it wrong, so now it looks a bit decent. Again, remember, just keep in mind that it's okay to draw something bad because in order to get something nice, you need to draw 200 bad drawings before you get one good drawing. So better start cranking out those bad drawings. Anyway, um, it's almost an hour. Hopefully the file doesn't get too big. I'm going to try to upload this to YouTube. Hopefully YouTube takes it. Good night. Hope you guys enjoyed.